Okay, now I'm going to demo one of the park modes of the Peekable. So I'm going to change it to park mode first. I'm going to power up holding the button. I'm going to choose four blanks. One, two, three, four. Oh, a little bit too much. There we go. And then one yellow blank, which is just a normal mode. Okay, so we got four green, one yellow. So we got park brake mode and normal input mode. So you can see the first thing it does is bring the motor back to the park position. The other thing you'll notice is the speed wheel doesn't do anything in the idle mode of park or park brake. That's because it also has to ensure that the animation starts in the same spot. So same rule applies. Okay, so now I'll start recording. And at the end of the animation, you'll see it always bring it back to park. It'll do that at the last speed and direction that the motor was running at. And it doesn't matter how many times I trigger it or press the button, it will always return to that position. Okay. In any of the other modes, even if you'd programmed it perfectly, the motor would sometimes, you know, it'll creep essentially. It'll it'll run it and sometimes it'll go a little bit farther or a little bit less each time. And this is due to different frictions, temperatures, loads on the motor. So it'll never run the exact same way. Now let's pretend you're doing a lid opener. So maybe you want when it's triggered for it to open a mechanism, stay open for a bit, and then start going back. And I'm going to stop. Make sure you stop recording again before it gets all the way back. Now when I run it, opens the lid, and then it'll start heading back and close it. And it'll do that exactly the same way every time. And again, hook up an external trigger. And you can do that faster as well. Or with a linear actuator. <laughs> 